Israel has launched new airstrikes on the city of Rafah in the southern Gaza Strip, killing at least seven Palestinians. The Palestinian media reported on Friday that most of the victims of the Israeli assault were women and children. The death toll is likely to rise due to the number of seriously wounded people, the Palestinian news agency Wafa reported. The attack hit a residential home in Tala Sultan neighborhood in Rafah. It comes as the Israeli military is preparing evacuation plans for the city in anticipation of a ground offensive. The United Nations and many other countries have expressed grave concern over the offensive. The city is home to approximately 1.5 million displaced Palestinians. G7 slams Israel's full-scale military operation in Rafah. Foreign ministers from the Group of Seven Nations said Friday that a full-scale military operation in Rafah by Israel would have catastrophic consequences on the civilian population. Ministers from Italy, the UK, the US, France, Germany, Japan and Canada also condemned the unacceptable number of civilians killed in Gaza during Israel's genocidal war. We reiterate our opposition to a full-scale military operation in Rafah that would have catastrophic consequences on the civilian population, the minister said in a statement. Israel has faced growing global rebuke to the relentless genocidal war that has reduced much of Gaza to rubble. We deplore all losses of civilian lives, G7 ministers said at the meeting on Italy's island of Capri. They said they note with great concern the unacceptable number of civilians including thousands of women, children and persons in vulnerable situations who have been killed in Gaza. A decentralized hacker group says it has managed to break into the Israeli military's computers accessing a trove of top-secret documents. Anonymous, as the hacker group identifies itself, announced the development in a video message, which was reported on by various media outlets on Friday. It said it had laid its hands on 20 gigabytes worth of data and a quarter of a million documents, including PDFs, Word files, and PowerPoint presentations. The military, however, dismissed the breach as minimal, claiming that the hackers were engaging in psychological warfare. Months earlier, Anonymous said it had hacked the Israeli Justice Ministry, obtaining 8 million data files reaching up to 300 gigabytes. The Israeli regime has come under numerous such cyber attacks since last October, when it unleashed a yet ongoing genocidal war on the Gaza Strip. More than 34,000 Palestinians, most of them women, children and adolescents, have been killed so far during the war that was launched following a retaliatory operation by the coastal slivers resistance groups against the occupied territories. Earlier this month, it was reported that hackers had managed to breach the Israeli regime's Ministry of Military Affairs, offering to sell stolen data unless the regime released hundreds of Palestinian prisoners.